Hey, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I have decided that I am going to do a mid-month December for um, each of the, the elements, so fire, earth, water, and air, and this is going to be focused on singles. So we're going to do a singles love reading for, uh, this is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for December 15th through the 31st. So, singles, love, what can you expect to happen? This is for singles, singles, singles. If you are single, if you are in a relationship now, you're not single, okay? So, these, this, these readings right here that I'm about to do today are for singles. This is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We're going to get one of these. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for the time period of December 15th through December 31st. What do we have in store for fire? We're gonna get one of these, then we're gonna use that deck for singles. What can they expect for the remainder of December? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, we got two. Now, it looks like you guys are working on bringing some balance back to your life because a contract is ending, okay? Or a contract has ended, okay? So it looks as though things, and this is a six, which is basically um, the six of pentacles, you could call it, okay? So this is, uh, you guys have been in a situation that was imbalanced, it wasn't um, harmonious, and now it's time to bring that balance back. So it looks like uh, something is going to happen that is going to restore some sort of uh, imbalance in your life. I'm going to go ahead and put that like that. Because it's about, you know, it's like the, this is an angel that is going to help you to bring the balance back after some sort of loss. Okay? Could have been a, something that ended. Okay? And now you're just working on restoring so, let's see. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and love singles. I hate it. I didn't even get a chance, but I got to take it, right, when it falls out. Um, it looks like you, somebody could be stalking you, or you're stalking somebody. You know, there's probably some sort of... Uh, outside observation somebody is watching you um, maybe you've blocked them or and they and they're not really blocked they've maybe they've created another account or you've created another account um, there's definitely some um, spying going on here okay somebody is spying on you or you're spying on them so keep that in mind And you may be trying to block uh, out love at this time. Maybe you just don't want it. I don't know. It's like there's definitely some drama. There's definitely some drama going on behind the scenes, you know. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's a dissatisfying situation here. This is dissatisfying, like something hasn't grown. And it looks as though somebody's not willing to give up the struggle. I mean, this, these are power struggles. Ego plays a part here. Somebody's ego, um, somebody is doesn't want to let you go by the looks of things. It looks like you're up against somebody. Somebody doesn't want to let you go. They love you. They're like, oh, I, I can't let you go. My love is all for you. And it's like it's unrealistic. There's, there's no growth here. It's like there's no... It's a dead end. It's like it's a dead tree. But this person is probably telling you that, you know, it's not dead. This is real. I really, really, really love you. And you're like, no, it's your ego. It's your pride. So you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want to let you go by the looks of that things so um, yeah but it's unrealistic there's no growth it's like you know what you're this is a lie and it's like you know it's a lie but this person is trying to convince you and you may have blocked this person but 
they don't they don't get it you know they're they're ready they're ready to uh they want you back somebody wants you back but there's nothing nothing stable there it's like no matter what you do no how much no matter how much energy you put into it there's not going to be any growth and i think that you know that this person's probably upset that you know you're seeing it clearly and they're trying to fill you up with a you know Oh, I'm so in love with you. I'm so in love with you. But the thing is, is even if they are in love with you, you know, that's, that's when their pride and ego is, is the way it is. And when they're constantly battle with you and when they always have to win and when you can't win and when they, you can't even, they can't even talk to you. You know, this person is very egotistical. It's like, that's not love. That's not love. So somebody is trying to, you know, convince you that they love you but their actions speak louder than their words hmm. yeah this person that is watching you is like they're right all of a sudden all of a sudden they're ready to go above and beyond you know oh, oh i i'm gonna put i'm gonna work harder on this i'll do whatever it takes i'll do whatever i have to do to to keep you you know I don't want you to break free I don't I don't want you I don't want this to end somebody doesn't want something to end but you have somebody else and I think that you sense that or you know that or they know that they probably know that you have a better option and now they're like oh shit oh shit now this tells me that you have you look at this shit you could be dealing with a water sign you could be dealing with an Aquarius um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you have somebody new coming in. And I think that the fact that you are severing ties is enlightening, enlightening this person to the fact that, you know, this person's going to find love someplace else and I don't want to let them go. So you do have somebody else here. It looks like you probably have somebody, um that is better suited for you, that is going to come into your life, that really... matches you perfectly. And it's after you... completely break free, liberate yourself from this... egotistical... asshole. Okay, you're dealing with somebody that, you know, I think that you've tried to let go of, you've tried to block, you've, you've made, taken extra efforts to uh, cut this person out of your life, but they just will not give up. And now you have this, not, you're going to have, if you don't have it yet, you know, this is for the end of December. So this is being recorded on December 13th. Has that happened yet? For some of you, maybe it has. But for some of you, you know, this is a prediction. This is an unexpected choice in love that is coming in. And this is a choice between this ass or somebody new. So we have an, a new offer coming in. Somebody that you probably didn't expect. You probably thought, you know, I'm still dealing with this drama. You know, you're probably thinking I'm never going to get it. And all of a sudden... Somebody shows up into your life and it's like an instant connection. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. So I think that you are about, this is for fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You are about to meet up with somebody that really uh, makes you feel unbelievably good. Okay, this person is going to be like your mirror. Okay. They are. This person is really going to feed your soul. Okay? So I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in or focused or whatever you want to call it. And you probably feel you probably feel like you're never gonna find love. You probably feel like you know this has been so de detrimental. You know it's been so hurtful. You were dealing with somebody that really made you feel less than lovable or less than worthy. They just stole your mojo. They stole your energy. 
to a point like you probably like giving up on love. It's like I'm not gonna invest in love. I'm not gonna focus on love. I'm I'm not. I'm just not. But it's like the universe or, or angels because Cupid's arrow. It's like you know the divine says, oh, but you deserve love. You deserve love. You know you didn't have wish fulfillment with this person because they weren't meant to be. You know. This is, um, you've lost hope. You have absolutely lost hope in love. It's but the universe says no, no, just because this person didn't respect you, this because, just because this person didn't, um, want to work with you, um, like they should, you know, just because this person brought conflict into your life, it doesn't mean that you don't deserve love. So I feel like you have probably lost hope. You're probably like, you know, I have no hope left for love. You know, I, I, I don't want to invest in love. I've given up. I just want to be by myself. I just want to break free. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on my job. I'm going to focus on my work. I'm going to focus on everything but love. You know, right now I'm still healing from this person that brought me down. And I'm, I'm still, you know, not ready. But the universe says, you know what? We're going to help bring somebody in to help you heal from this situation because this is love heals. You're going to have an unexpected choice, somebody, an unexpected lover that is going to come into your life. And even though you may not be ready, it looks as though it's going to turn into love. So be prepared to meet somebody unexpectedly that you didn't, that you weren't, you know, you didn't think was ever going to happen. You didn't think this was ever going to happen. This person um, it is not your usual type. They're not, but they're going to help you to heal. And they're being brought to you from, from Cupid. Okay, that's Cupid's arrow. This is a perfect match. There's a feeling of a soulmate connection. Okay, it's like they're bringing you this person to help you heal, to bring balance back to your life. This is another six. Okay, sixes are about balance. This is like, this person is coming in at this time to help you. And for you to help them, okay? It's where you guys can help each other. So I feel like you got, you do have a new opportunity for love coming in. And I think it's after you have given up hope. So I'm here to tell you to, to believe, okay? Continue to block this person out of your life because you have made the right decision. It's like you are being given a gift of new love for loving yourself. Okay? So I feel like there's one contract that has ended and a new contract is beginning and it's unexpected. It is unexpected. So be prepared to fall in love with somebody if you are single and you are ready, you have broken free, and you believe. I read a quote last night about believing. If you don't believe, then it's not gonna happen. You have to believe. You have an opportunity for an unexpected, perfect match to show up in your life if you believe, and that's the truth. So for whoever this is, this person that broke you, it was it happened for a reason. Consider it a blessing in disguise because now you have a new offer coming in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you like this segment, let me know down below and I will do it, you know, every month. Talk to you later.